Well, welcome back to another high cotton video. Um, today's Tuesday, and like I said in the last video, we was gonna start plowing up, so we're coming up with some of these peanuts. Uh, these are some of the ones I showed you had the uh, army worms in them, and they were really close to being ready anyway, so we uh, we went ahead and started plowing them up. Uh, gonna go ahead and get them up out of the ground instead of spending the money to spray them. So come along with us and watch us start plowing the first peanuts of the year up. So I kind of wanted to explain a little bit of what I was talking about with scratching the pod a minute ago. Let's see if I can get it to focus. If you'll see how dark colored that is when you scratch the pod, you can take a pocket knife. And I was trying to find you one that's not ready. I'm honestly having trouble finding one. If you'll take it right there, and you see how it's that dark color. If you, uh, if it's not ready, it'll, it'll be the pod will be softer. And it'll be a lot lighter color. It'll be almost kind of the color of the pod, or maybe even a little lighter. Um, I saw one of the easiest ways, besides age, and actually getting them tested, that a farmer can tell if his peanuts are ready to plow up. And I have been informed that apparently some of you people from up north, I don't know if we have any viewers from up that way, uh, apparently some people don't know that peanuts grow under the ground. So I'm going to kind of show you what a peanut plant looks like. So it's these vines, and if you look over there, you can kind of see what they look like. It's almost like a short little bush. And all these peanuts are just under the ground. And that peanut plow has blades that runs under the ground a few inches and picks them up and goes up a chain that's shaking. That's why we call it a shaker or an inverter, because it shakes the dirt out, then inverts them upside down. That way the sun can hit them, they can dry for a few days. These are those couple rows we plowed up the other day, getting that two row set. Um, but this is something you don't want to see. This is why we needed some rain. You'll see right there the tap root is still stuck in these wads and that'll tear a picker up. We really need some rain, but these are ready to be plowed up and there's a 0% in the forecast, so we really don't have a choice but to go with it. That's what you don't want to see. All those big pumps, they just tear a picker to pieces. These aren't the worst peanuts I've ever seen. They're definitely not the best. These in this same field last year looked tenfold better than these do. But I don't know. It's been a really dry year, like I said. It's why irrigation pays dividends, but it's kind of hard to make that investment on a field the size of this one because, I mean, we have a lot of these small fields. We don't really have many big fields, and then it's hard to make your investment back when you're talking about a 15 or 20 acre field, you know. So, I don't know. It's one of them things. Another thing I'm, I was going to say, we're kind of new to the GPS game. Um, <clears throat> We, uh, we got GPS, RTK GPS, and our two main tractors last year. Um, and we planted, we didn't plant any of the corn on GPS. We didn't get it in time. We had bought it by then, but Sun South had to get all the stuff in to be able to um, install it. But the peanuts, all of them were planted on GPS. And I was gonna say, for any of you who have more experience with GPS than we do, we planted this field. Um, you saw the video, we had got a peanut plant planting video. Um, of this field right here and for some reason now that we're plowing them up the gps lines don't they seem like they're off by a few inches and it should be the same um and i don't know what that's about but if you know why our gps would have moved some let us know because we really don't have a clue
so it seems we've run into an issue. Apparently, our weld fix didn't hold. So, I mentioned this on the last video. The star wheel has a shaft and it splines up on the shaft and then there was a set bolt. And the first thing that happened was the nut that was welded on that the set bolt went through broke off. So we re-welded the nut, broke off again. So we, uh, we MIG welded it, just kind of tacked it thinking it didn't have that much pressure on it. And that broke, so we brought it back and we stick welded it. And I'm talking about we stick welded it. Like, you know, I ain't gonna claim being a professional welder and dad ain't either, but he welded it pretty good all the way around. And it seems that it has broke again. So dad's making a round on his tractor that uh that flex shaker. That's the first time he's pulled it with his new tractor. So anyway, yeah, show sure did broke this well. You can look in there. I don't know what else to do about it, honestly. I'm gonna take it back over there and weld it up good again. But uh Paul's doing a good job for coming out of the bushes just last year. So obviously we're just kind of running this thing for fun. Uh, I got in my head I wanted a two-row shaker. Dad said, I'm going to get you a two-row shaker. So we found one, and I worked on it like every day for a couple weeks right at the end of peanut season last year. I never got to run it by the time I got it repainted and all. Peanut season was over. So anyway, he's run it more than I have. I think he likes it more now that I've fixed it. But uh, anyway, I'm going to fix it again because I want to run it a little more. Um, so I'm fixing to weld it back up, and I'm going to weld it permanent weld at this time i don't know what i'm gonna have to do if uh i ever have to replace this bearing or anything but that's just gonna be a problem for future me so i'm gonna crank this old stick welder up and we're gonna get her stuck on there Alrighty guys, well, I think I got it permanent welded this time. Maybe it won't break. I welded it good that time. Um, wanted to say a few things. So, number one, I'm new to this. I'm trying. There's videos like the last video that somehow the stabilization got turned off. But uh, I hope you bear with me. Subscribe. I'm trying to get better. I'm learning. Um, another thing is, I know this video is kind of short. I just didn't want to miss the first few peanuts coming up out of the ground this year. And third thing, the corn video that I kept promising. Uh, I'm working on it. We've had a really rough corn harvest so far. The corn's yielded good. It's just been parts breakage after parts breakage, and then now we can't get unloaded. We still got probably 100 acres to go, um, and just can't get it unloaded anywhere. Everybody's full. Everybody made good corn this year, and uh, we lost our grain bin here a couple of years ago. So, anyway, I'm gonna try to run this back to the field before it gets dark. Hope you enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for the peanut picking video because it'll be coming up soon.